guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well um in today's video i'll be sharing with you some pros and cons about studying pharmacy at uea um first i would like to make a disclaimer out there that all these pros and cons are just my own uh, opinions and ideas and just what i have experienced studying pharmacy at university of east anglia so everyone can have different experience so but this is my own experience i'll just share with you what i think is good very good and what i think could have been better if that makes sense so with that further ado let's get started so guys i'll be looking at my phone because i made the list of the pros and cons on my phone um and this is just for me to have an idea of what i want to say and just a guide to what i need to say so first we're going to focus on the pros so one of the first pros that i really really love about studying pharmacy at uea is that they are very very supportive and when i talk about being supportive i meant in all ramifications um if you need any support with like calculations you get it if you are struggling with something and you go to a lecturer they are there to listen to you and guide you in the right way that you need to approach that thing you're struggling with oh especially which model did i struggle with was ddmda i literally went to the lecturer one-on-one -on -one almost all through the course of the year so i can get the like the idea about this module because it was just so difficult i didn't understand but yeah thank god i passed and that was because i went to my lecturer to get the support and the way they are so supportive it is so intense that they if you don't go to them they won't because they think you know it all and you're doing okay however if you approach them for help they would not hesitate to direct you to help you and if they don't know the answers to your question they'll direct you to the right channel for you to get answers to your questions that's the very very first important thing i think is a pros for ue second of all studying pharmacy at ue is very good because um the ue investor of standard is mainly campus based university that's so so nice because everything is just in one place you don't have to actually get a bus or go to another um, another place to, to do our things done everything is in one big campus and you can easily access everything you need in one place the only difference is that you just have to go to the hospital which makes sense that that will be outside the university but that's not even far away from the university on the 10 15 minutes walk from the university you can get to the hospital aside that everything else is in the same place at the university and I really really like that and also it makes it makes it so pretty because you see all these nice buildings and structures and buildings everywhere in just one place so that makes it really pretty and that makes you really stand out when you study pharmacy there also uh, it is very green and it is so refreshing out like we have a lot of grasses where you can even just sit on you can study on there especially in summer chill with the rabbits yeah you is known for the free rabbits that we have around they are so cute um and then we have a lake as well so it's like it's more of a nature natural kind of thing around you compared to just having a lot of modern thing and just let me put this there if you don't know that the avengers was shot at my university so you can come and look at that as well and it's a good sightseeing for people to see another pros of studying at um, university is that it is multicultural it is because we have a lot of other inter, um, for, um, internationals it's not just mainly a um, majority of whites and blacks but it is very more it's very very diverse however that leads to a cons because um, um, as a BAME student that I am there are least things that we could do such as finding um, the right canteen or, or food shop that actually uh, uh, meet your needs as a BAME so that's a bit of of the negative side for me that I think about it there but aside that it is very very diverse it is multicultural and you you, you, do, you see people from different um, social backgrounds at the university so that's another pros on it so now let's move down to the con side um, I don't have many so many cons of this because that's my experience I haven't seen many something negative about it that much but the main cons another cons is that um it is as uh, another cons is that studying pharmacy at ue is that there is less placement yeah um this one i wish uh, we had more opportunity to have more placements 
instead of having more of a theory and maybe this ministry on campus um, this was something that when I started UVD it was really really less and I really wasn't happy about it because when I was coming to study farms I was so excited about the placement aspect of it I got so many clothes for placement but there wasn't a lot of it so I wasn't happy about it but however I found out that um, because UVA has now started a new curriculum for New Year's, um, which started like two years ago. Um, the curriculum is now better and there is more placements implemented in their degree. So they kind of have more placement than we did, which is good. At the it shows that they kind of listened to our feedback and they implemented on that. So that's one cons for me. But I think UVA is doing better in that aspect. And I also think the reason why we it seems that we have less placements because we only have one hospital in Norwich and that's easily accessible and all the community play, uh, pharmacies are really less so they, they really have just um, agreements with only few pharmacies to let people attend placement which is why it's difficult to have placements all the time in Norwich compared to some London universities where there's so many hospitals around there's so many community pharmacies around so there will always be a place for you to have a placement and things so that's the main difference about it but however I think they're improving that which is very good that they listen to our feedback and then the other thing is loads and loads of assessment oh my goodness well I know people will say there is no university that don't have lots of assessment but <laughs> this one is getting to a point where you will be as you'll be doing some assessment and it only totally, it's only amounts to 2.5 percent of your grade it only totally amounts to 1.6 percent of your grade like those tiny tiny assessments are so annoying and it's just like that's just so many things to do upon attending lectures doing main coursework preparing for exams the least thing I want to do is having doing an assessment that only cost 1.6 percent of my grade so that's the thing like we have so many little little um, assessments in place I'm just like we can just do this as one assessment instead of having it as a whole um, uh, instead of having as a tiny chunk of assessment if that makes sense that's the cons I did pick about um, UEA so it's mainly the fact that if you're a BAME you might not have a lot of varieties to choose from in terms of what you want to eat and where you how you could get some cultural food and the effects of placement which has been sorted out and the aspects of assessments which I don't know how when that's going to be over but it does the if that's the way but it seems that that's the way that they they ranked so high in the ranking table so that's it so that's my pros and cons of studying at UE thank you so much for watching guys if you're new here please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and also share with your friends I'll see you guys in my next video have a good day bye bye